A couple months ago, this one was supposed to be really, really meaningful. And not to say that it's not, it just doesn't feel the way that we thought. Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's Inside Pac-12 Football, the digital edition. Mike Yam, Curtis Conway, Nigel Burton with you. I'm referring to Oregon, who a lot of people thought might be a, a team that could win a national championship. Arizona State's a team that had national championship aspirations as well. And yet right now, this is a Ducks team where we talked to Vernon Adams on Inside Pac-12 Football earlier this week. He said he's about 95% healthy. It seems like there's some momentum coming off that bye week. How prepared is this Oregon team in your mind, not only to win this game, but continue to run the table? You know, I think this is going to be one of the best Oregon teams we've seen all season. When you look at the return of Darren Carrington coming back, he had six targets last week, five catches, 125 yards, two touchdowns. That adds an e a different element to this offense. You know, everyone was worried about Royce Freeman running the ball. Now you have to respect that they can throw the ball. Vernon Adams, you just mentioned, 95%. He's going to be ready a bye week, the next extra time to get healthy. This Oregon offense, I'm really looking forward to seeing this week because I think they're going to start clicking on all cylinders. Well, I think the key for Arizona State is, well, it's the same thing we've been saying all year long. Protect Mike Berkovici. You're dealing with the number two defense in terms of creating pressure on the quarterback. They've got to protect him so that he has a chance to carve up the worst secondary in the Pac-12 conference in terms of the amount of yards and big plays given up. A little help from Demario Richard wouldn't help either. Little Richard, which is a phrase that he doesn't like to use. The good thing for tomorrow is tomorrow is the fact that it looks like he is going to be able to, to give it a go and play. He had said actually before this last game that he missed that he'd only remember missing one game in his entire football career, and that came back in high school. So a healthy Demario Richard, a healthy Kalen Balage, and to be able to protect the football could potentially mean some good things. But that'll wrap it up for us inside our San Francisco studios. For everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do, follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks, and do not forget to catch us end of the night on Saturday, a full recap of Oregon, Arizona State, and all the rest of the action from week number nine.